team i hope you're all well today i'm gonna do something a little bit different i've just tried this out to see if it works so i'm doing this intro video now if it didn't work you're never gonna see this but if it did i'm rambling for no reason so the different video that i want to try out this this time round is to show you do a plan with me bullet journal layout thing so this is my bullet journal welcome introductions bullet journal this is booktube booktube this is bullet journal and this is a new bullet journal that i set up for the month of august um because so what happened was my old bullet journal finished at the end of july no it didn't it finished at the beginning of july so i set up a new bullet journal for july and then set it up for august i friggin hated the spreads that i was doing i hated it i hated the way it looked it was stressing me out it was really getting me down so i bought a new one and started again because you know that makes a lot of sense so anyway this is my new bullet journal i have on the front my willoughby book club sticker i can't remember if i already do this but i'm not sure and then i have my sticker of alec and magnus as well which i absolutely adore but what i hadn't realized when i put it there was that this covers them up which is annoying however whatever it's fine so um my bullet journal just is plain on the inside this is a stationary island bullet journal by the way I absolutely love the color of it it's got a um pouch in the back for if you've got any stickers or anything and it is dotted so this has pretty thick pages in it and it's dotted i don't know if you'll be able to see that um it very rarely bleeds through it's very very good quality i'll definitely be getting another one for next year and i love it i don't want to go through and show you what it looks like to begin with because i think i might do that in a separate video if this one takes off pretty well we'll see um do let me know if you i don't know if i'll necessarily do an outro to this but do let me know if you enjoy this video let me know in the comments below exactly what you think about it if it's terrible i mean don't tell me if you think it's shit but just just let me know if you enjoy it because if you want to see more of these i'll be happy to do them so long as this one actually works out um because i did enjoy doing it it's really nice i always whenever i'm doing it i always sit there and think god wouldn't it be nice for other people to see how the process works of this when i do it um so yeah i'm looking forward to putting this out there and seeing what you guys think it can be quite intimidating because obviously this is like my little journal so yeah i'm looking forward to it i hope you enjoy it again please let me know in the comments down below let's have a, a natter and um let me know if there are any spreads you want to see from me in the future as well like any uh themes you fancy seeing i think i've got actually my next few themes lined up to be fair but yeah just let me know in the comments down below and i shall see you next time bye for now but to start off this bullet journal it's pointless doing a flip through but obviously this is the first page and um we are just going to go into doing september so this month i have started penciling it out so that i can just go through and go over it in pen um this month's theme i wanted to do based on a court of thorns and roses i am currently reading a court of frost and starlight the light in here is terrible uh i apologize and uh yeah i'm currently reading this because i've read the last three um last month so i'm really excited i'm listening to this on audio as i have done with the others and i've just i've had this out because i'm just taking some inspiration from this for my spread so let's get into it the pens that i'm going to be using are this really old uni paint marker which is like a silver pen it's quite a thick tip and um, I just tend to use this, you know, just to dot stars on or whatever. If I haven't bothered actually drawing a star because I'm lazy. Um, I also use the Crayola washable tips. These are relatively thin but can be used really, really well. I love using these. Um, really easy to use. I have these in all different colours but today I'm just going to be using a black one. Then I also have these uh, Vakey, Vaki. I don't know how you uh, pronounce that vacuum metallic color pen and today I'll be using a purple one because the color theme I'm going to go for is like navy black and uh, purple because I feel like it's a nice color for Akatar 
Then I also have these Faber Castell Pit Artist pens. I have these in all different um, thicknesses. Uh, this one is a bold one, which I will be using at some point on my uh, calendar. I'll show you why when I do it. Then I also have this um, Sino Unibore pen, which again is a silver, just a silver pen that I can use. I've had this for years, like literally just found it in my pens the other day. And then I also use these uh, Stabler pens, 0 0.88 fine, 0.4. And I have them in all different colours and the ones we'll be using today are, like I said, navy, purple and black. So... Yeah, I'm excited. Let's get into this. I will just sort of be listening to my book while I'm reading this. This book while I'm reading this, while I'm drawing this. I will be listening to this while I am drawing. So you will get some background music unless I feel I have something important to tell you. Um, I did try and start this off. I was going to do the winter court theme because... I um, I did the test and I already picked winter court anyway, but the test said I was part of winter court. I am a winter baby. My, my birthday is December 4th and I love winter. It's my favourite month of the year. Uh, favourite month? What is wrong with me? Favourite season of the year, although I stand autumn pretty hard too. And um, yeah, but I struggled to do the wolf, so I've ended up doing night court, which is pretty much there or thereabouts it's not at all they're totally different but i just really, really like this one so that's the one we're going to do and let's get into it if we got snowed in perhaps i'd use the day to organize things find room for My battery died <laughs> yay uh, that's my phone just chiming in so my battery died so we're back i this page is finished now i don't particularly like this but whatever it is what it is now i should have done it in you know like the pen instead because i did prefer that but never mind it is what it is so the next page i'm going to do is just going to be a calendar for the month um i've got a couple of birthdays this month so i do find these quite handy i did one for august and obviously i put in everything that i did i tend to like backfill it as well and put in things that i've done like since then because in my last bullet journal i used to do uh weekly layouts Whereas um, I haven't been doing those in here because I was trying more of a book bullet journal, if you if you know what I mean. So like record what books I'm reading and things like that. So um, yeah, so we're going to do this calendar and then 
I'll tell you the rest as we're going through. So I'm going to continue to listen to my book while you guys just get some music while I'm doing this. <laughs> So on this page, so this is my calendar. I'm not too pleased with this, but I'll do something with it later, I've no doubt. Um, this, These two pages, I'm gonna do my book's red page. So my book's red page is really, really simple, but I actually really like, this is usually what my book's red page looks like. So I just write down the book and then what I gave it uh, and the pages, but I kind of like the way that Brittany does hers from Brittany the Bibliophile. So, I might do something similar but for the time being I'm just going to put the title on and then this is going to be my quotes page so um, I'm just going to stick titles on these and they'll be left as they are I'll probably just add to them as the month goes on we will see So I've put one of my favourite quotes on already, which is obviously from the Akata series. This, that was rude. Uh, this is what Resand refers to Feyre as. Hello Feyre darling. <laughs> He's just said it actually now as I'm listening to the book, so I thought I would stick that in there. And then this next page is something really, really random that I drew up last night. So this is, it's my 30th birthday in December and I'm having a party at home. I'm not getting a place, it's just too expensive. So I'm having a party at home and I just wanted to do a birthday party ideas page. So I don't know if you can actually see this clearly enough, but I've just got like uh, decorations so that I can put what colours I want my decorations and what decorations I want. Um, what food I'm thinking about getting, any specific music I'm thinking of and then what I'm planning on doing, I should put that on silent, what I'm planning on doing is instead of having you know like a massive birthday cake and ending up with loads of birthday cake left over, I'm thinking of doing party favours so getting small mason jars and doing cake in a jar and making it myself so I've got toffee chocolate chip cake that I'm planning on doing and I'm just going to draw it out and write down what I need or a recipe or whatever and then I think I'm going to do a red velvet cake and then I need to do a couple of vegan ones as well so I need to make some notes on vegan ones and then I am going to do like just a main cake it's not going to be a massive one it's just going to be one you know so that um, my parents can stick candles in and everyone can sing happy birthday or whatever because 
we're that kind of family so um if i don't have one my mum's gonna whinge and it's not easy to go ahead and stick candles in a mason jar so <laughs> i thought i would make one of those as well so my intention is to just draw a little cake and then i can come up with ideas i have got a couple on pinterest that i want to do so i don't know maybe what i might do is print pictures out and stick a picture in maybe i'm not sure but i'm going to go ahead and do this one and then after that i'll show you what i've done on the next page i've already done it and i shall let you know what that looks like So I'm going to fill the rest of this in, colour this in, etc. Um, at another date because there's notes I want to add and other stuff, etc, etc. And then my next page, which is the final page of this layout for the time being, I might add some more stuff to it. But I might, what I might do is do like a flip through at the end of the month. If you guys enjoy this video, I will go ahead and do that. Um, so this is just, I know it's a bit early because I know it's September. But my parents and my sister-in-law and my brother are already giving me ideas of things I can get them for Christmas and so that I don't forget. I've just done this layout so I basically used, I can't find my circles, so I basically used the lid of a candle. Shizer. I used the lid of a candle to make my circles and these are just baubles that I've done. I have done the top of the bauble in black and then used, as you can see, I think... I've just used a silver pen to write the names on the top of the baubles. I have a couple of extra baubles here for other people um, as and when needed. Uh, I've stuck some fairy lights on. I wanted to sort of keep with this theme but they've ended up being a little bit dark so whatever. I might add some more stuff to this. I've done a couple of presents and I need to colour those in and then I can fill this in. And then that's kind of it for the time being. I don't know what else I'm going to add. I usually do a layout for each readathon I'm getting involved in but at the moment I don't know if I'm doing any readathons. I've got a load of um, books that I need to read from NetGalley and also ARCs, physical ARCs that I've got. So I want to get through those at the moment. So September is my plan to do that because obviously October, there's usually some really good readathons on and I'm hosting a readathon in October, all being well. And I just really want to get through some of these books. I'm starting to feel a bit bad. So my intention in September is to read some of those. So what I might do is a layout for books that I actually really, really, really want to get to. Um, but I need to think about it. So for the time being, let's show you what we have done. So obviously this is a Akatar layout. So we have the night court. I was, like I said, going to do the winter court, but I, I'm not an artist by any means. I struggle to draw like this looks shit, but um, I couldn't do the wolf. So I just did the mountains and put the quote on to the stars who listen in the dreams that are answered. And then did just September with a bit of this design, which is a bit like the tattoo that Feyre has on her arm. So I just sort of 
thrown that in there a little bit i might change this at some point i'm not sure and then this is just my calendar for the month of september these trackers i'm at the beginning of the month i will put down what my numbers are for youtube and instagram and at the end of the month i can compare which is really useful um i might change this as well i might add some more bits as well quotes or some of the drawings from the books we will see and then my book's red page, I might try and do a layout a bit like uh, Britney's, but again, we'll see. I might just keep it simple for this month. I'm not sure. And then my quotes page, and then my birthday party ideas page, and Christmas gift ideas page. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this layout so far. Um, hopefully, as the month goes on, I'm Hopefully as the month goes on, I will update you if anything changes or I do anything different or I might just leave it till the end of the month and do a flip through, maybe. We will see. I might do a flip through for August and see how that goes. But yes, that is my bullet journal spread. Um, plan with me for September. <laughs> Uh, we will see how this looks at the end, but hopefully you enjoyed that and hopefully I will get better at these as <laughs> time goes on. If you guys enjoy these, uh, please let me know in the comments down below if you do enjoy it because obviously if you want to see more of these videos, I am happy to do them, um, but I will need to know. So let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy this. Uh, let me know if you want to see me do a different type of theme just don't expect too much like I say I'm not an artist I can't particularly draw very well I like to do simple themes like space or zodiac or Halloween Christmas whatever I just really fancy doing a guitar this month so um yeah I hope you have enjoyed and I shall see you for the next one bye for now